and welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to take you through my three favorite brushes for creating trees in acrylics fast. Now each of these trees will literally take under a minute to paint with these three brushes and I'm going to go through how to do that just in a second. If you would like to take this to the next step then I have a free class for you that I think you're going to love and it will show you how to create a landscape with depth with these tree techniques in it. So let's get straight into the trees using my three favorite brushes. Okay, so I'm just gonna squeeze out some paint uh, just up here, cause this is just kind of like gonna be sketchy because I'm not gonna go through a full tutorial. I just wanna show you how you can quickly create a tree and then you can go on and create a big painting from that. So these are gonna be my three favorite brushes. I'm gonna go through them individually. The first one I'm gonna show you is the One Stroke by Winsor & Newton. It's basically just a flat edge, so it doesn't have to be this particular brush, but any brush just with a flat edge. And I'm gonna show you how to achieve a fast winter tree in under a minute. So what I want you to do is wet your brush so it's slightly damp, and you can see that the edge is really uh, sort of neat. I'm just gonna pull the uh, hairs into like that really nice flat shape. Then what I wanna do is just take some of the paint along that edge. And what I'm gonna do first is just Create like a loose line. I like to have a little bit of a bend in it. Take the corner of your brush and just start to put that tree in at the top. And then as we move down, we can use more of that tree. And I just want you to go from side to side and picking up more paint when you need it. And I want you to let the brush do most of the work here. I don't want you to overthink it, just kind of go down and then sometimes a little bit up. And really create that sketchy feeling. And then at the end, you can also get some more paint and just uh, go over the center just to build up that center part a little bit more so that it looks thicker with foliage right in the middle. And just using a mixture of the corner and the edges just to create those shapes. Okay, so that's the one stroke. Now I'm just gonna rinse off that brush and I'm gonna show you the next brush. The next brush um, I'm gonna show you is called a rigger. Now this, um, you don't have to use this specific one. This specific one is by Zen Art. Uh, I believe it's actually a watercolor brush this, but a rigger is basically a long uh, flowy brush that you can use to uh, create flowing lines, it's like a dance on paper. So what you want to do is, again like the last brush, just dampen it off a little bit and take some paint with a little bit of water just to help it flow more easily. Now first what we want to do is just create that tree shape again. Now you don't want it to be a straight line, just be natural with your marks. A lot of the time we try and make na uh, nature too uh, symmetrical. And actually, nature in real life is not symmetrical at all. So then just take some of that paint, not too much, on the end of your brush. And I want you to like imagine like you're writing like a different language with these different symbols. And I just kind of want you to let the paintbrush just dance along the page, back and forth. And you can also hold it right at the end of the paintbrush, which will give you less control. And that sounds like a bad thing but it's actually a good thing. Because when we relinquish control, that's when our style can really emerge and we let the brush do all the hard work. So I just want you to go back and forth, with the lines. And this might take a few, a few goes just to like practice. And then you can also take the, the branches out wider at the bottom. And then again, take some thicker paint and just bulk up the center where there's lots of foliage. Okay, and that's the rigger. I'm just gonna wash out my brush. Now the last brush I wanna show you is the fan brush. This is actually a Bob Ross fan brush um, as he is the king of trees and uh, fast trees in particular. So this one, I'm just gonna dampen off just like the other ones. I'm gonna take off any excess water on a towel. 
So with this one, I just want to take basically like take the edge of the brush and make sure that it's got some paint just on the edge of it. If you can see that. We don't want to cake it on too much. Then once again, we just want to pop in our line. Then taking the corner of the fan brush, I just want you to just kind of dance that down a little bit. And then like last time, as we go down the tree, we can kind of extend that into more of the brush. Because the more of the brush you'll use, a longer line you'll get. So I kind of just want you to like kind of do a crisscross, just kind of going down from the, the stem of the tree. Some you can do up, some you want down. You also want to bring them out a little bit further at the bottom. And then once again, just taking a lot of that paint on the corner, you can just paste that down the center to give the center a lot more depth. Okay, so those are my three favorite brushes for creating fast trees. Now, obviously this is not a beautiful painting as it is, but you can use these techniques to really build up a beautiful mountain scene or a beautiful uh, landscape. If you would like a little bit more guidance on how to do that, I have a free class that I think you'll really like. Head to the description box for the link. Also, I'll pop it in the comments as well and I'll pin that comment to the top of the comments section. You can head there and I'll show you how to take this technique and build it into a scene and I'll be showing you the number one technique of how to add depth into your painting. Thank you so much guys and I'll see you in the next video.